A self-acclaimed crypto king has witnessed piles of demands from 140 of his investment clients. The 23-year-old tycoon runs a personal company known as AP Private Equity Limited. His investors want a part of his firm's total of $35 million. The CBC report stated that the creditors claim they gave their funds to Aiden Pludersky. The aim was for investment in cryptocurrency and foreign exchange on their behalf. Hence, they must uncover where the crypto king has laid all their money. Investigation Council PC has made a series of complaints regarding Pludersky. These include a bankruptcy trustee's report, court filings, creditors meeting minutes, and other complaints. The investigation revealed that Pladersky has 11 vehicles and leased 4 luxury cars. Also, he resides in an expensive lakefront mansion rented for $45,000 per month. In addition, he frequently uses private jets to fly around without stress. The founder of Investigation Council PC, and the fraud recovery law company, Norman Groot, reacted to their discovery. He noted that Plattersky's extravagant lifestyle does not provide the exact cumulative amount of missing money. Groot mentioned that the investors had warning signs of massive yields that could have cautioned them. He highlighted that the 5% weekly interest doesn't exist in an open market. Also, a 23-year-old will not turn into the next Bill Gates. So, it is best to communicate with a conservative person while getting another opinion. Presently, some assets worth about $2 million has been confiscated from Pletersky. These include a Lamborghini, two BMWs, and two McLarens. The bank accounts and assets of Pletersky were frozen due to an initial lawsuit raised against him. The present bankruptcy proceedings have superseded the freeze. It serves as a suitable option for the investors for the recovery process. This is because bankruptcy proceedings are superior when it comes to civil claims. One of the creditors, Diane Moore, commented on her $60,000 investment contract. She stated that it would yield up to 10% to 20% fortnightly. Also, she was to receive a considerable share of a 70-30 to 30 split on all capital gains.